socks hang on i'm getting ready to head out for a little bit of christmas shopping today's vlog is going to be like getting ready for christmas i kind of am having issues this <laughs> let me explain okay i'm having issues because i've been struggling with a christmas tree so as you guys can see we had a christmas tree here it was from Home Depot. I didn't really love it. It was very fake looking. And then I ordered a really expensive fake tree and fake trees can be really up there. And it came and it looked even worse than the first one. And I thought it would, like I had high expectations for it because it was from McGee & Co. Their stuff's very pricey, pretty good quality for the most part. And it was just not it. So. Dylan took that back to FedEx this morning. And so we have no tree. And I know I saw a lot of comments last vlog. And sorry if my vlogs have been like a little bit out of order. I've been just vlogging every day and sometimes like brand approval and all that. So, but I really wanted like a real tree. And a lot of you guys were commenting like, Rachel, I thought you said you were gonna get a real tree. And we want to get a real tree. It's just like um, the real like Christmas tree, like farms or like places that sell the real trees don't start selling until like November 19th and then the other one near us is November 25th I think which is fine we can wait that long it's just that then we might be leaving like middle of December for home for Georgia for the rest of the month so it's like we would have the tree up barely any and then I'm like we would have to take it down before we leave because I'd be scared it would like catch fire or things like that like I've heard like horror stories like leaving a real tree without like water for too long so and we wouldn't have anyone here to like be filling up the water and stuff. So I'm on the hunt for a fake tree and I cannot find one that looks anywhere near decent. And I don't know what the deal is. And we got a flock tree last year and I would just put it right here, but it's so tiny and little that it's in the basement. So I'm going to decorate that one later tonight, but we need a tree for the living room and it's been like a cluster. So I have this area cleared out. And then the olive tree normally is right there, but I moved Winnie's stuff over here so then we could put the tree here. So I don't know. That's where we're at with Christmas stuff, but I do have a bunch of stuff laid out, which I'm gonna go through with you guys once I get home from running errands. So we're just gonna go check out some Christmas decor, see if we have any luck. I have the tree skirt, the stockings. I have some home goods stuff that I showed in a vlog. And then this is all the stuff that I ordered for the tree from Studio McGee. I don't know where this came from, but it's, not mine. This is some stuff that I ordered from Studio McGee that was with the tree. Like this is a really cute little tree topper. I'm going for like a more like natural tree upstairs and then the gold and silver is downstairs. Um, this little Santa snowing, snowing, skiing, I thought was cute like for Colorado. I got two of them. A lot of like beads for garland. I wanted to do like simple like beads and ribbon and then like leave the ornaments minimal but you know we've got no tree right now which is my fault because I'm being picky, but. Starting holiday shopping off with good old Starbucks. I get a grande uh, caramel brulee latte. Hot, please. Uh, that's it. Bye. Thank you. You guys, it's like a wind storm outside. Today on the weather app, it's saying like extra windy. And it for sure is extra windy. Christmas decor shopping starts with a holiday drink. My go-to drink has been the caramel brulee latte. That's like what I get. I like it hot. If I'm going to make an iced coffee, I'm just going to make it at home because I love my coffee machine at home. And I love like the Chobani creamer and I do half milk, half Chobani creamer, and then two shots of espresso at home if I want something iced. Um, but normally if I'm like in the mood for something hot, I'll like come to Starbucks or something just because I love the hot holiday drink. Hey, hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing well. You're outside. Thank you. Have a good day. Uh, double the cup. I guess they're out of like hand warmers or hand coolers, I guess. I'm not wearing any makeup today. I'm letting my face breathe again because my face has been like totally acting up. And I think it's from that facial still, which is like kind of frustrating, but um, better now than the wedding, you know? My forehead. Anyways, I wanted to stop really quick and put this car freshener up. I have one already hanging, but I think it's kind of, it's been up for like a month, so it doesn't really smell as strong anymore. 
and it's the candle I've been talking about. They have car air fresheners and they're the best. Literally smells like Christmas, so we're gonna add this. Oh, it's so good. I get them off of Amazon. They're like five bucks, I think. Just wrap it. Look at how cute. I think we're gonna do Target. Target always has like the best Christmas stuff. I'm like, the only thing I really need is a tree, but you know, everyone likes to look. And then like, if I get a new tree, I need new ornaments, which I've been getting a few of, but the tree is the problem I'm having. I don't have a tree. Um, and then I thought maybe like something cute for the front door. Now that we have a house, maybe like something for the backyard. But then again, I don't know because I'm traveling a lot um, coming up and I feel like what's the point of like, <laughs> I don't know. We are having guests come to the house for the holiday, so I want it to look nice. So that's why I'm kind of like doing all this and setting up a tree and doing all that. Also, like, I just love it. Christmas is the best time of year. And if you're someone who's like, people who set up their tree in November is blah, blah, blah. It's like, what? like if they want to, then let them, you know? It's like, if you don't want to, that's fine. You don't do it, but don't be a fun sucker. Don't suck the fun out of, you know? There's no room for fun suckers during the holidays. I love when town, like little shopping areas or little towns or whatever, will decorate like, you guys can see the wreaths on the tree. I love that. It's the best. Okay, all the trees here are like super, they either look super skinny or short. Look at this tiny tree. It's actually kind of cute by like the front door. I mean, they're all just so small. I mean, these trees are like five foot tall. We need like a seven and a half or an eight foot. They have a lot of really cute tree toppers though. Christmas decorations out on the table and we're gonna start decorating um, I got these two trees from Target they're the Studio McGee line and I thought they were super cute I think that we have decided on a real tree I called Dylan and I think we're gonna just do a real tree because we've always wanted to do real and so we're just gonna wait so I'll make another video of us setting up the tree where it's gonna go right here but I'm gonna decorate everything else right now so I have everything pulled out we have a lot of stuff from last year I also got these really cute bowls from Target um, what else did I get? Got some candles for Thanksgiving table. Thought these furry ornaments were cute for the tree. Um, and then I found these, which I'm so excited about. These bowls from Target, and they literally match the crate and barrel set that I got. So now we have plates and matching bowls because the crate and barrel ones never came in. They were back ordered. So I need to just cancel those. But I'm going to start slowly decorating. I also have stuff out from last year. This is like some old stuff. I have the wreath for the front door, a new mat, and then like some stuff in here. So I'm gonna go through it and start decorating. I'm gonna turn on some Christmas music. So excited to decorate for the holidays. Are you?
this is what we have for the living room. I rearranged this coffee table like 17 million times, but the tree again will go here. I will vlog that when we get it, but I'm thinking I'm gonna get a tree right here, decorate it in like browns, blacks, neutrals, kind of going off this vibe on the coffee table. And then these two trees will either go in my office or in our bedroom or honestly anywhere in the house. I think they're super cute. We're gonna get a tree literally next week is when they all open. So I have this cute little Christmas blanket right here, which I got from Home Goods. I love this. And then those two trees I obviously just got from Target. Our stockings are from Crate and Barrel and then the tree skirt matches and then these bells are from last year from Target. I'm gonna get a big piece of real garland to go right here, which will be really pretty. These will be gone. And then I'll move this back over here. And then the tree. For the coffee table, I just wanted to keep it simple and neutral. I kept trying to add this red book and it was just like throwing me off. So basically just things that have already been on here, I just rearranged. I added some of these candles, which I thought were really pretty. Nice little touch. Um, the candlesticks and the candles are both from Target. That tray is from Target. This is from McGee & Co. Books. And then this I got from Home Goods as well. I kind of like the black and the brown together for some reason right now. So that is the coffee table. Winnie, do you like it? We're gonna get a big tree, I promise. I promise. She's like, what happened to the old one? I thought it was fine. She loved to lay by in her bed. I put her bed right there. So that is Christmas in the living room. Once we get the tree up, I know I'll love it because it'll cover those cords and it'll just take up this section and then this won't look as crowded. But for the time being, you guys, I think it's fine. I'm trying to decide on this table. I think I'm gonna keep it simple and put this little tree, which is really cute from, where is this from? I got it from West Elm last year, I think. Christmas candle right here, coasters. We're just keeping it simple. I was wiping things down. I need to spray this table off. Also added these reindeer in the kitchen. These are from last year from Crate and Barrel as well. I thought that that was kind of cute with the soap. I just finished washing all of the new plates and stuff that I bought from Target. So I wanted to show you guys. So this is our normal set. I'll link all of this. Um, this is the Mercer set from Crate and Barrel. And then I have the small plates. And then we have the large bowls and then small bowls. And then for the holidays, I found all this stuff, which is so cute. And I love how everything just fits in here. So I don't have to like exchange it out. Um, even though after the holidays, we'll probably be packing up to move. But plates are from Crate and Barrel and the bowls are from Target. The red is like maybe a little off. This one might be a little brighter, but I feel like from far away, you definitely cannot notice. And then these tiny little bowls are so cute. I got six of them and... I just think that's so cute as a little set for the holidays. Use them for like, obviously if you're entertaining, but I feel like you could also just use them on a day to day. I also got this huge um, salad bowl for Thanksgiving. All of our Thanksgiving stuff is up here. So everything fits pretty well, which is nice. Pour in here as well. I just feel like I have all this stuff from last year in the apartment. I was like, I need to use it. So um, obviously bedroom, very simple, but I mean, this does look a little girly, but this is my side and the mirror doesn't help. I'm also wearing umbrella because I'm sweating. This little glass, Target like three years ago. I just have it on some books. My jewelry box is from Crate and Barrel, I'll link it. Mirror is from Anthropology. I can also link this. This would be a good Christmas gift or something to ask for if you're like redoing your room or something. I love this mirror. And then all of this is Target from like years ago. So I was in Target today though and they have a ton of trees and stuff just like this. So go check that out but I don't know I thought this was cute with the mirror kept it kind of simple and then both of our bedsides are empty besides the skylight and then our bed and that's about it I'm currently adding lights to these little baby trees which I know they're not going to be staying here but I thought it would be cute just so we had some lights right now on a tree because the tree farms here don't open till November 19th and it's currently like I think it's like the 10th or something. So we have like over a week for these to be here. Luckily I'm going out of town so I won't be as tempted to go buy a fake tree again. <laughs> I don't know what it is you guys. If you have a fake tree that you feel like looks really real and good, can you please send me what brand it is so at least for next year I can be prepared because I can't find a tree that isn't flocked that looks decent. I feel like all the ones that aren't flocked look like straight plastic. So, also these lights I just found sitting out, but I do think they're a little like, they're like LED, so they're a little brighter than my lamp. Oh shoot, 
But I feel like these trees are such a good target line, like, seriously. kind of theme or like vibe I guess of the gonna be real tree in the living room so you guys can see I just want to show you just because I know people are decorating and stuff and then also something I'm gonna do this year is add like ribbon to the ends which will be super cute I got some just plain glass balls I got some brown matte white kind of going for a little bit more simple I just made a little snack plate because I feel like it's a little bit too early for dinner I'm gonna wait till Dylan gets home but I'm so hungry I like forgot that I skipped lunch, so I'm having a snack. I put some of this homemade Chex Mix. Emily and I, well, Emily mostly <laughs> made it last night, and it's like our mom's mom's recipe, and we make it every holiday season. Emily actually made like literally two of the biggest things that we're gonna bring one of it to the tailgate and maybe wrap some up and bring them to friends and like coaches and things like that for the holidays. It's so yummy. Um, and then I just have some carrots and apples just cause I was like feeling something fresh. So I just made a little board for myself. This is like one of my favorite things to do. If I want like a little snack, I just like set it out cute and I don't know, it's kind of fun. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is like two days later. I'm picking back up the vlog camera it's saturday morning i'm gonna go run and get emily and i coffee she's still asleep but i'm gonna surprise her with a little holiday i need to take this pimple patch off i need to make the bed but i'm gonna do that when i get home we need coffee you guys okay winnie do you want to come wait in the car it'll be so super fun do you want to come wait in the car come on winnie it'll be so fun come on you want pup chino let's go i'll get you one Come on, let's go. I was going. It's beautiful lighting. Mom is super silly and always forgets to get you a puppuccino. But I'll ask for one up here, I promise. Um, Taylor Swift's album just came out and I've been listening to it and I'm like obsessed. I feel like you either like love Taylor Swift or you hate her, but I honestly feel like I'm not like a diehard like, oh my God, I have to go to her concert. I just like enjoy her music. I feel like it's just a good like day to day, good song, like good music to listen to. It's not like rap, but it's not country. It's like the perfect in the middle. Can I also get a small puppuccino? You don't have to fill it all the way. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Winnie, I got this for you. It's funny because this is like our little Saturday treat. Oh no, I forgot to say no sprinkles on this drink. <laughs> oh, Emily and I have red and green sprinkles. I hate sprinkles. It's like our little Saturday thing. I drop Dylan off and then I always get coffee after I like to bring Winnie. But look, <laughs> the puppuccino cups are holiday. Winnie, they give you a holiday cup. Here you go. This is for you. Oh my goodness. Is it yummy? Oh my goodness, that's so cute. I just got home from Starbucks, made the bed, and I just unboxed all my Sephora stuff. I wanna show you guys a little haul of things that I got from the Sephora sale. But quickly, I wanna thank Warby Parker for sponsoring today's video. I'm wearing their glasses right now, and these are the blue light. I wear them around the house when I'm just like on my phone, my laptop, all of that. But I love the convenience of Warby Parker. If you guys are searching for like eyeglasses, um, prescription lenses, contact lenses, sunglasses, like they really have it all. And I love the convenience of being able to just shop all in one place they also have such stylish like fashionable frames i have a pair of sunglasses from them all of their glasses start at just 95 dollars, which i feel like is super an affordable price they can be really up there in like the three four hundred five hundred dollars for glasses um and i love that the warby parker lenses like i can tell like it's such good quality stuff and they just start at 95 dollars, which is amazing also don't let your fsa or hsa dollars go to waste you can put them to good use on warby parker's prescription glasses they also have prescription sunglasses contact lenses and eye exams they're committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in store which is nice i actually 
usually always see the Warby Parker store when I go to the Denver mall and it always looks so cute. I more so don't wear glasses for like the prescription in them. Like I normally just do the blue light or the sunglasses, but if you do need prescription, you can add it into any of the glasses, any of the lenses, things like that. They also carry a wide variety of contact lens brands like Acuve and Biofinity. If you guys are interested, definitely check them out. I have a little code for you all. You guys can save 15% on your first order of contacts. So I have a little code for you guys. It saves you 15% off on your first pair of contacts. And all you have to do is go to warbyparker.com slash Rachel. The discount will be applied at checkout. So check them out. Thank you, Warby Parker, for sponsoring today's video. I'm obsessed. Dylan always tries to steal these. I was actually just looking for them when I got home and I was like, if he has these in his work bag, I'm going to be so mad. But I found them on his bedside table. So I'm going to show you guys what I got from the Sephora sale. Just took everything out of the packaging. So first up, we got some new brushes, which I never buy brushes because... I just like, I don't know, I don't like to spend money on them, but I know I need new good ones. So I follow Makeup by Kellyanne and she just did both of these brushes. This is the Makeup Forever. It's like a face, so this is like all around powder and then an angled for like bronzer. I've heard really good things about this brush. And then eye brush kit, which is like so strange for me because I don't ever use eye makeup, but I wanna try to start getting better at it for like wedding stuff. And I really like the idea of lining my eyes with some like eyeshadow. So I thought this brush would be good. This could be like all over, lid, you know, it's affordable too. Okay, next I got this replica jazz candle. Smells literally insane. This is the perfume I wear. I'm obsessed with this brand and I wanted one of the candles for my desk. I just love, I think it's sleek. It's obviously a pricier candle. I'm not gonna like burn it 24 seven like I do with like my Christmas candles or fall candles, but this is really nice to like leave sit out. This also is like a really beautiful gift. And then for my trip, I got a travel size of the jazz club just cause the big one doesn't have a lid, so I couldn't bring it with me, and I wanted to be able to use that perfume. Next up, we have this Dior uh, highlight palette. This is the Backstage Glow palette, I believe, and I got the lighter shade, I think. Actually, I might have got the darker because I liked this caramel a lot, but I've heard really good things about this. Got this Laneige little gift set. Um, this, you guys. This ginger snap is literally incredible. Probably my new favorite scent, and I know they have a full size of this, so check that out. The peppermint is also really, really good. Nice, like refreshing, and then the original one. So I love Laneige. I got this because I wanted to have um, little ones to put like in my car, my purse, all of that. Last up might be my favorite purchase. I've been using this all week and it is literally insane. So I saw, I follow the girl who came out with this brand on Instagram and her brows always looked so good and then I saw that she came out with the brow product so it comes out looking like this which the white is kind of like scary at first but then you take the lid part and you brush through and it gets the white obviously to go away and my brows you guys they used to like I don't like fill in my brows or anything like I like just the laminated look I am not a huge fan of like really big brows on me um, and I'm trying to grow them out but anyways is my lens dirty this whole clip and I can tell you this is the only one that actually holds my brows in all day um, normally like if I put a shirt on or off my brows completely go down like nothing holds besides this so this was definitely worth the money I'm like 10 out of 10 recommending this if you're someone who likes to like leave your brows in place or if you do have bigger brows and you're trying to get them to stay this product is like a must god how is the Laneige stuff so good I seriously don't understand relax on the couch drink my coffee my exact order that i got was a grande ice sugar cookie <laughs> latte but i get regular two percent milk and then i get an extra shot of espresso and it's so yummy okay it's much later we're heading to the football game it's pretty windy but it feels pretty good outside so we're gonna go meet at the tailgate the game starts in like an hour and a half i think what time is it 3 30 see anything we are in the canes drive through line emily has never had canes you guys have you yeah the owner of canes went to georgia like there's a canes in athens uh, that's how i know about it and it tastes just it, like zaxby's but people say it's better so they just don't have it they have it in georgia but not where i'm where are we are from or is there one where i'm from <laughs> we're from the same area well, like you're acting like you were born in a different area, but you haven't been there in a while, and there's a lot of things that are there. I now. think that someone said that they were building a Canes off of the exit, that Glade Road exit. They build a Culver's, if that's what oh, you're thinking Culver's, of. Culver's, that is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, no, Canes is pretty good, but I'm not. 
if I eat fast food, I prefer Chick-fil-A, but this is like a like a weird craving. Like I, I would never be in this line if it wasn't you wanting to try it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I like Zaxby's. I was like, though, sometimes I choose Zaxby's over Chick-fil-A just because I, really I like always Zaxby's. eat Chick-fil-A. Is this where I order or no? No. You're getting the box combo, four chicken tenders. Yeah. And then Dylan. Do you hear that call? I'm getting, instead of toast, I'm getting extra cane sauce. Instead of coleslaw, I want fries. You're gonna cut out the only nutritional thing. Actually, the coleslaw like probably coles isn't yeah, even healthy. I don't, I don't like the coleslaw. <laughs> Could I please get the Kaniac combo? You guys line, missed it um, before she turned the camera on. No, they wouldn't. The they wouldn't let us yes. order a meal right, until we said yeehaw. And Rachel just sat there and didn't thank you. say anything, so I had to yell. They said if you were a Kaniac combo, say yeehaw, and I just sat there and I was Rachel's like, oh, and I said yeehaw. I was like, is she gonna say anything? I don't know why I'm such the baby. Yeah, you are. Hi. Can you add two box combos? Yes. Your total is 32. Dylan has six tenders. Oh, yeah. Take some of this first. No, I don't need it. I just wasn't going to eat the... Uh, All right, taste test. Taste test. Just undo your seatbelt. Oh. Yeah, that's Dylan. Ow. 20 minutes. He doesn't have a car because we took this parking bus. All right, let's rate the coleslaw compared to Zaxby's. Right, it doesn't look too promising. <laughs> Fries are good. I wish they had seasoning like Zaxby's says because that's my favorite part. They normally do. Okay, coleslaw, uh-uh. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I don't think Cane's is that good. I think you have high hopes for no nothing. I just, that the, the, the drive-through was just so long and I just was fascinated. It's probably because we don't have a Zaxby's here. Yeah. No, this tastes um, like Zacadoo's in Valdosta when I used to Ooh, go Ooh, this tastes like, uh, what's that one place at the Avenue? Remember? Otter's mm. Chicken. Yeah. Because they have these exact fries. Otter's Chicken. Yeah. Yeah, the, the fries have no seasoning. Yeah. I wish they had like salt or something. Or Lowry's. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that's being a little too picky. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what's on the Zaxby's ones, no doubt. Not well. you carrying around a thing of Lowry's in your Honestly, purse. I'm surprised you don't do that kind of stuff. You're obsessed with sauce. I don't know. I mean, this chicken is hot. It must be fresh out of the. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. <gasps> <laughs> I've had it's enough so people hot. spit on me for the past. The past month, I've had enough people spit on me while they've been talking for a lifetime. I think yeah. that the chicken is better than Zaxby's. Yeah. Sometimes Zaxby's chicken grosses well, me out. I like the fries better than Zaxby's too, the but they need to be seasoned. Like I like how little they are because they Did they give crispier. us any ranch? No, oh, I cane sauce. Oh. I mean, I didn't mean ranch, I meant salt. No. Unless it was in the bag, but I don't think so. Also, we're rating it off of like it being late and like maybe they just forgot to season. You know what I'm saying? No, no exceptions. <laughs> season, <laughs> season your fries, games. Cheers. <laughs> Solid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Should have got the bread. But there's no way that I eat all this. Like I'm, I'm already done and I've had one tender. Yeah. I'm not really hungry. All right, that's all, folks. We're ending off the vlog. Emily, you end it off. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> My name's Emily, and you're watching Rachel's YouTube video. <laughs> Did you just hear that noise I made? <laughs> Ow, that hurt. Okay, see ya. <laughs>